Hello there, Scorpios. Welcome to your mid-June. So I feel like the the energy for the next two weeks has a lot to do with your um, reassessing your financial situation. I see people withdrawing money, uh, putting money in different bank accounts, shifting money around, thinking about investment opportunities as well, as well as people coming to you with investment opportunities and they want to know if you're going to be on board to invest with them, to pull your money, your resources together with them, invest in something, or even creating opportunities so that you can... Um, I, I guess like join up with in business partnerships with them. So there's a lot of re-examination when it comes to your financial situation. I do feel there are or there have been in the past or they're still coming, you know, the for the next two weeks. A lot of opportunities overall for socializing. And I feel like it's a mixture of social slash professional functions where you have to dress up where you need to go to expensive places as well and I do feel that it's happening on a more regular basis so it is really draining your financial resources find you know if it's like dating if it's like dining and uh, with your significant other or a boyfriend or going on dates going on dates you can definitely opt for cheaper options and you know if especially if you are going out frequently just keep stock of your uh, expenditures because I feel like you might be overextending yourself financially this month, okay? I don't see you being in the red, but I feel like money is leaving a lot faster than I'd like to see or rather you'd like to see. So it's just something to be careful about. Um, in relationships, what I do sense is there is kind of like a stoppage in, in communication with another person. So you're either stopping communication with another person or you have recently um, kind of like just you're no longer seeing somebody. But I do feel overall that for some of you, um, you have somebody in your midst. And you both are very, very different people. So there is that sense of, you know, excitement, chemistry. But innately, it feels like the relationship itself, it's hard to come together. It's hard to build a future together. It's hard for the relationship to really solidify and for the partnership to, you know, for, for two people to really see eye to eye and to forge ahead forward um, with one another in a stable relationship. I feel like, I, I feel like in the relationship sector, um, actually, this is just another person that you're dealing with. There's somebody that is very vocal, very verbal. Okay, so like, um, I feel like verbally, they're, they're vocal, they're quite assertive, they know what they want, but emotionally, they clam up. And so when you're dealing with somebody like this, um, it seems like you're the way that you approach things and the way that they approach things are very different and it's hard for you to to reach them emotionally i feel like they clam up they shut down they're they're not interested in you know drawn out conversations they they're a little bit tunnel vision i would say they're very stuck on their point of view very stubborn and a little bit difficult to deal with. And as a result of that, it, it just feels to me like you try to talk to them, you try to approach them, and they just clam up. You feel shut out, but I feel like give them time, you know, give them time to sort through their feelings, to not feel upset, to not feel um, destabilized before you can talk to them, okay? For some of you, this is a relationship partner. For others, I feel like this is somebody you're dealing with, like a, a friend in your social circle. And others, a family member who's really fixed, rigid, and I feel like they don't want to hear dissent. They just want to hear what they want to hear. And then on top of that, there's going to be a lot of communications. I feel some of you from exes, okay? So I feel like you need to put an end to things when it comes to, you know, closing doors and and moving ahead, okay? Don't let exes linger. Just uh, cease communication. If you don't see them in your life long term, just cease communication. Because I see like a lot of things coming back from the past that are not favorable for some of you if you're trying to build new relationships with new people, okay? So shut some doors, close some doors for good, and just move on. Um, I do feel overall there is going to be a lot of communication when it comes to work. So I see you and other people getting together. A lot of conversations about work, about where your career is headed, where things are headed, what are we going to do, how are we going to do this, how are we going to expand, and, and I feel like a lot of energies for expansion, for promotions as well, discussions about 
business, logistics, um, you know, the, the administrative aspect of running a business, the logistical aspect, the programmatic aspect. So I feel like there's a lot of talks, discussions, this energy brewing around you for great things to come, okay? So it's a little bit of a mixed bag month, but I do feel overall financially things are looking very good, okay? Just curb your spending when it comes to social outing, all right? Um, Scorpios, wish you the best. Take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.